Hello, fun. My name's Nick, and I'm here at the World Championship in Houston with Team 1796 Robo Tigers. Yet another great season for them coming out of this year as they won all three of their regionals for the second year in a row. They are currently top 10 in the world by EPA and have this incredible unique combo system of their algae and coral manipulators to help prove it. All of this and more coming up on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. First teams benefit when they optimize their robots utilizing Altair tools. If you're utilizing Altair, submit a video showing your optimization skills and potentially win up to $5,000 for your team or $2,000 for yourself each quarter from now until June 30th, 2025. Download Altair tools for free and view contest details when you scan the QR code or go to altair.com slash contest. Anymark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Anymark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. All right, now we're going over to Ashley to talk about their hopper system. Okay, uh, introducing the hopper. We took like uh, inspiration from Mechanical Advantage and like the hopper also helped us determine the name of our robot this year, which the name of the robot is Fry, because in our team we like to say that the hopper kind of looks like a french fry, con like the McDonald's french fry container. And we like to say that the coral is like the fries. So we put, we say put the fries in the bag. And the hopper is made out of a one eighth uh, poly cart from these three sides and like the vision behind the hopper was that we could like um, intake the coral no matter like where you where you're at like if a robot is playing high defense on you <laughs> and fun fact the hopper was like actually a prototype like we didn't have an original CAD and like uh, we made like real time changes because we saw that and like the original like the first stage of the hopper we saw that like like it was getting stuck like like our it was like getting stuck here in our original like the original like the first one and it was getting stuck so that helped us determine that we needed to change the angle that the polycar was in and that helped us um come up with the design of these uh 3d printed angle pieces which help us uh maintain the hopper into like one certain angle so that way it doesn't like um move throughout or matches and it stays like consistent and also like if you like take a look here we have uh wheels that help us like center the coral correctly in order in order for it to go to the scoring delivery and we also have 3d printed parts that helps us like also orientate because in order for it like the scoring delivery to like and take it, it has to be at a certain angle, which is like currently straight. So, and this whole uh, mechanism is like powered by one Kraken and it is like a three to one uh, ratio. And I'm gonna be passing it to Makai so he could talk about the elevator. Thank you. So once the coil is done getting into the hopper, if you want to run the hopper, it ends up in our elevator and our coil end effector. So if you want to start by talking about the elevator, it is very similar to the elevator we ran last year, which is a three-stage continuous elevator. It was inspired a lot by Team 4414 High Tide in 2023, and we ran it last year to score into the AMP in Crescendo. It worked really well for us last year, so we decided to iterate it and make it work for this year's game by basically just extending the length of it and adding more supports. So our elevator has three different layers of support. We have this 3D printed piece, which we like to call the slip and slide, which is like the first piece of support that we had before going into competition. But right before we went into our first event, Hudson Valley, we realized that the elevator was still wobbling a lot. So we came up with the idea of adding suspension cable on this side of a robot and the other side of the robot. And with the suspension cable combined with the slip and slide, we were able to have a pretty stable elevator. However, over time, it still wore down, and we thought that having one extra layer of support going into our next two events and currently championships would be well for us. So we decided to add carbon fiber supports, where we have this side over here, and if you come over to the other side, this layer of support over here to be able to support the elevator. Now on the elevator, we have the two end effectors. So starting with the core end effector, the angle is set entirely 
by this bent plate over here, and this bent plate is set to 33 degrees. And then behind it, we have layers of support, like this support piece over here that we like to call the Avengers ship. And then when it actually comes into the hopper, from the hopper, my bad, it comes into this piece that we like to call the toilet seat, which is one of our funnels that actually helps us guide the coil when coming out of the hopper into the scoring delivery. Because while we were testing, a lot of the time, this would be one of the biggest places we would jam. So by adding this toilet seat, we were able to make sure that the coil would come in nice and easy every single time. If you want to raise to the heights. So this is level two height. And then level three. Yeah. And then level four. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. Animark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to animark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. First teams benefit when they optimize their robots utilizing Altair tools. If you're utilizing Altair, submit a video showing your optimization skills and potentially win up to $5,000 for your team or $2,000 for yourself each quarter from now until June 30th, 2025. Download Altair tools for free and view contest details when you scan the QR code or go to altair.com contest.